These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. All right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here and today I'm reviewing a Nevox AIO. Yeah, Nevox, Nevox made an AIO, a Boro AIO called the Bellato AIO. And I got this green and purple number and listen, here's the thing. It's pretty slick. This does not scream high end, but it definitely screams like, hi, I'm a pretty solid entry level AIO that is a true AIO because I come with an RBA base, even though the RBA base kind of isn't that good. In fact, if we're going to address the RBA base right now, there does need to be a desk visit. So yeah, this RBA, not my favorite. And I wanted to start it off just to show you how dark this liquid was in here. I actually need to rinse this out. So the AFC ring pulls straight off and this all pulls out of this tank. Just do some hot rinsing action here. Banana, this smells like banana. And I honestly got no gripes with the deck. I got no gripes with how to build it. I got no gripes with how to wick it. It all fits together actually pretty nice. My real main big gripe with this is the airflow. It's got 510 threading right on the bottom. It's a real easy deck. There's a notch right here to put the coil lead in. You can see it has like a lip on the edge to help keep your coil in there. It sandwiches in there nice and hard. And you can see they give you a little relief right there. I've started glowing all my coils at an extraordinarily low wattage these days. This is a 0.36 and I'm only glowing it at 10 watts. Easy to build. I said I got no gripe with building it. I got no gripe with wicking it either. The barrel and chimney are all one big piece. There's a flat side on top, wick holes out the corners. I can put this on, use the tunnel technique, cut these afterward, trim the wicks down. I cut them close. I kind of scrunch them back up in there, not necessarily to help the wicking, although it will help the wicking. It's going to help putting this all back together. There's a flat side. There's a flat side. These go together. All goes together. Oh, that was much easier than the last few times. And if I don't cut these wicks short enough, it has the tendency to go in there and into that O-ring between this and the glass that's no good. For the inside, AFC ring goes back on and that's all pretty simple and straightforward and easy and I have gripes with literally none of it. My biggest gripe, oh man, it's with that airflow. This airflow on this RBA is just not good. I can't think of really any other way to say it. It is extraordinarily rough, extraordinarily turbulent. I can minimize that by taking a slightly lighter drag, but it is still very much there and very present. The flavor on it, actually pretty good. Even with that good of a flavor and even with a crackle from this coil, it makes me not want to use this RBA simply based on how negative that airflow feels to me. The AIO itself is really solid. I think it looks pretty cool. It's gonna draw a lot of comparisons to the Raga because it has that exposed battery and it has that sort of wheel locking nut at the top. This Bellato AIO has an exceptionally large locking nut wheel on top, which some might see as a con. I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me too much. It would be cool if it were purple or green and matched, but otherwise it bothers me none. I sometimes complain about panels and this does have three panels, but they all legitimately do kind of serve a purpose. There's a panel on the front display. There's a panel on the back that covers up the USB-C. And then there's a panel right over the button that truly and honestly allows the button to function. It is a really Really nice, clicky, clicky fire button. Tiny short throw, big heavy click. I kind of love everything about it. I don't know if anybody's been watching Old Grim Green since say 2010, 2011, but back then, on YouTube, I was obsessed, obsessed with the clicky level of button. And, and I still, to this freaking day, love a nice clicky button, and this one has it in spades. It also locks by sliding up and down. When it's down, it's completely locked. I can't do nothing with it. When it's up, I click the top, and it's that beautiful, beautiful clicky, clicky button. Look, yeah, that's undeniably cool. Maybe the other colors are different. I can only review what I have in front of me, and what I have in front of me is the purple and green. And the purple and green is dope, and I like the purple and green colors, but the green on this feels just really very, very plasticky. I was describing it as kind of Lego feeling, although I don't really want to compare this to like 
you know, a toy for kids. But it does have like a very Lego Duplo, very plasticky, plasticky feel to it. Maybe maybe the other colors are different. I, I don't know. Look, that flavor's good, okay? That flavor's good. Even though the RBA does kind of suck, it's not awful. It's not a deal breaker, certainly. And for someone who has never stepped foot into the world of Boro, this is a true AIO. Add coils, add cotton, add liquids in a battery, we're vaping. I honestly think more things like this need to exist. Rebuildables and boro stuff and drippers shouldn't be so unapproachable. I think people are intimidated by it, and I think less people are gonna be intimidated by this. I think when it's all said and done, even with the slightly crummy RBA on the inside, this AIO has enough going for it that I really like it. It scores extra points for me with the exposed battery. That might also be a negative for some people. You guys, I think this is gonna get like nine full banana stickers. I mean, he, here's the thing. It's good. It's it's pretty great. Nine banana stickers. That's like borderline perfection. And I don't think this is borderline perfection as much as I want to encourage more manufacturers to make stuff like this. I can't necessarily just give it a higher banana sticker rating. So realistically, it's probably more like eight. It's a little rough around the edges. And I just want to clarify, I don't think it's bad but as a first aio from previously a strictly pod company it's pretty great back to the other guy to take it home honestly for their first effort did a real good job i hate the way that i said real good job right there but the point stands i think they did a real good job now i can't tell you exactly how much these cost but i have seen them in places for under 80 us dollars this RBA, it's not that bad. If you're watching this video and you still smoke combustible cigarettes and you're looking at that and thinking, hey, I could do that, you're, you're definitely right, you can. It's way easier than you think. And literally all of the science says that you should switch. It's never been easier. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put some links to just science, just education. This has been a Grim Green video, yeah. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh gonna smoke so uh